Drops in vanilla, they share the story Through the lens of their camera, their adventures unfold But amidst the laughter, there's criticism too Yet George and Heidi, they always stay true Oh, George and Heidi, shining bright In the face of adversity, they take flight With every negative comment, they rise above Spreading love Good morning, magandang 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 masating apa Mayroon bang tag to those of you in the West and Masaling Bengi, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Good evening to you all. So, um, Mark, what do you think of this lawsuit going on? Well, I, don't, I really don't care because Jen and the baby make me feel young. They do? Yeah, I'm not worried about being served those papers the other day. That hence why I did that video. It doesn't mean nothing to me. Me and Jen are really happy. So I heard you're going to run. And I to, feel young. You feel young. I see. I'm really young. So, Mark, I heard you're going to run to the U.S. Is that as true? soon as I get the passport for the baby and Jen and get get the social security arranged? Yeah. Yeah, you, you have a very beautiful baby. A big, very big baby. It looks like you. That is a big ass baby. Yes. So. When it comes to weight restrictions, if you're to choose between your bean bears and your baby, which one would you choose? Well, I can only put one thing in that bag for my carry-on. Of course, it's going to be the bean bear. That's good his choice. inheritance. Good we'll choice. just leave him at home. Him and Jen. Leave him. Leave him and her in the PI. We call him little Ari. But I, I feel young, not worried about those documents they serve. I, I heard in Dumaguete they, they don't like you there, from what I've heard. Oh, please. Oh, please. Everybody loves me. You know, today I have my friend here with me, George. And we're going to discuss his disgust with Heidi. Oh, I see. I yeah. see. Mm -hmm. Mm. I heard I heard you treat everybody that you interviewed in your show afterwards. You treat them like poo poo. Is that true? Those people. What people? Who? They're my friends. I see them when I can, when I get around to it. Oh, thanks, Mark. Mark said, "Look more dead and stuff." Oh, here. dang, Mark! Sorry, Mark, Mark, Mark Goldberg. Hey, Mark Goldberg, how you doing? Jen and the baby make me feel young. Although I'm old, they make me feel young, and we're just happy. Jen's happy. We're all happy, like that. <laughs> Gotta look a little That's more. That's better. Higher. That's better. That's actually better. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh boy, guys. In, in all fairness, Mark is up there. He's 69, I believe. Um, yeah, 68, six, I think he said 69. But yeah, he's 69. Um, a lot of you guys actually wondered. We got some people that contacted us. It was like, um, do you feel that Mark was like a, an overkill in that previous video of him and Jen? And a lot of people felt that way. I felt that way. And George is like, he sure keeps talking about how happy they are. And anybody that goes on that long about something. And then. Lo and behold, documents have been dropped. Okay, so we're going to talk about Mark Thornton. Every man has a story. Um, there was a fight at Ground Zero for those, and we're just like recounting over what happened. Some um, of you may or may not know the whole story. And if not, some just want to know it again. But it's just a continuity, meaning we'll go from the beginning to the end. It's really not that long. It's a very short clip. You have to remember these is Mark Thornton himself, his voice, his video, his action. Right. So per his, uh, I almost went into the character again. Um, per Mark's words, as soon as a fight happened, like the next morning, he put that out. He put everything Correct. out. He was proud of it. And the court documents and what he has been served, because the other parties have their paperwork. Uh, we're assuming at this point that he does, possibly around the time he did that video. Um, 
but the documents are very clear on the proof that was given and including a listing of his channel in the videos have been saved okay so that's kind of on a serious matter at this point because i'll probably mention it again later that um mark himself on his own admittance and the i i can't tell you exactly which live stream but i know for sure he just mentioned recently uh, for those that watch mark actually you've heard him say that he's working on the birth certificate for the baby he's working on the baby's passport registering the baby um and at one point in the last few live streams he said he was working on his 13a still so i'm assuming either it's the second part of the 13a because he didn't say any details or it could be he's now just applying if he is by the time whether they catch him the first time around because of the new charges or they catch him after the one year and he applies um for the second part of his 13a for the permanent part um, there's a chance that they may at that point decline him based on these new charges that have come forward and so um it's a possibility you know we, you know we're not police we're not like right um no we're not police. but another nbi check it could come up with it or if he hasn't done one at this point could have caught up to the system yet maybe not because we know the system is kind of slow so he might actually get away with the first applying without it catching on but well, by the second one this yeah. would probably show the issue i have with him again first off again i'm not picking him up by any means but i'm just letting you know his actions and then the counter actions okay getting a birth certificate for rogan is not an issue done i'm sure that looks not a problem getting a passport for rogan Okay, that will take some time. Probably here in the Philippines, average a month. Now, oh, probably longer than that. Mike, you got to get an appointment. Right. Well, I'm just you know, remember, I'm the half glass full kind of guy. Hmm. Now, the issue I have with that is one. Mark has never said anything about taking a trip to the U.S. nor taking a vacation or anything, and yet all of a sudden, wait, wait a minute, why would you mention you're gonna get a passport for your son? Yeah, especially this early, but it's not part of, I'm sure some of you will actually say it's part of getting a social security, but not really. Um, you can apply for the, unless it, unless it is, and I'm missing something. So you guys can correct us if it is part of applying for social security, but I don't see why they'd force you into getting a passport. Then the NBI clearance. Okay. The 13A and the NBI clearance, like Heidi said, exactly. First pass, meaning first initial um, application, yeah, it will go right through. And after that, um, um, yeah, I know where he comes from. Okay, so after again the initial application, then they actually process it. Now, during the processing, is a different story. Will they or may they check a secondary NBI clearance? Probably, yes. Yeah. Yeah, during the 13a process where it takes a little bit um they could run it through again I, even with an nbi check. right and actually the problem also with the, it let's say you did take an nbi clearance i'm not even sure if it came out clean and what i mean by that is um thanks so much mark goldberg um the eye gouging is the worst part jail then deported he can't even get police clearance to flee the country now and that's true right in order to leave he would still need to try to clear i think it'll take some time the country is really behind on stuff now that's as far as the nbi clearance will pull up the blotter there's a blotter on the first video we'll show you there's already a blotter against him. right but now we a have a month the, ago right so but now we officially have we the have papers other that papers that we're going to show you that you guys never seen before anywhere else but let's, we sent them to our moderators right. and to um to our um mem esteemed members yeah and punks <laughs> right so yeah our members of course actually mark goldberg's one of them he got on the um oh. the pay for it. um thank you so uh, much somebody said further up it's proof of citizenship but there's other papers they apply for so you i forgot the name of the documents there's but i don't think they make you pay for their passport up front there's something they had a bunch of them registered for at the ground zero recently. Again, I'm not familiar with all those documents, but I can't imagine why they would have them get one. But maybe, maybe he just wants to get it so it's ready, but it would expire before the kid would travel anyways. 
probably expire. Probably it's just odd it might that, last like, longer than his dad. I mean, I'm not picking on again. It's just weird because again, you normally when you have a, a brand new baby, that's probably not one of the things you think of right away. Well, but back. however, it's those. possible, of course, if he wants to travel to the U.S. and show off his kid, that's a different story. What I'm saying is, has never communicated this even on this channel. Um, okay, now we're going to show you again first the fight and again his his own words, Mark's own words. Again, some people say, "Well, you guys are gossiping." It's not gossip; it's verified. Right. It's news when it's verified. That's why we call Philippine yeah the CRB Antics News yeah, Network. It's called the CRBA. Right. So let's let's show the clip again and hear Mark and Mark in his own words. And you will see the blotter. And then after that, I will, we will show you the paperwork that you guys have seen before. Yeah, as far as someone brought up the Ground Zero video, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to respond to that. Uh, I know it's a troll, but... Now, Mark is on the very far right, and then Dexter's in the middle, and then our friend Justin is on the very far left. So you can see how... Um, I mean... Apparently, Mark Thornton is a towering guy, kind of guy. I mean, he towers over everybody. Okay, so this is the police blotter being police report. Now, this part will probably show up on the initial NBI test for 13A, which could be an issue. We initially had all this stuff. I just checked really quick. Yes, getting a passport has nothing to do with registering his kid and making sure he does that. He needs all of that for the Social Security, his birth certificate and all that. So it looks like he's just getting it. So let's just assume that's why he's actually getting it. And I would disagree about a comment I seen here a little bit ago. Somebody said that Dexter is a problem. Um, um well first off you guys don't know who dexter is no nope, nobody really don't knows. be too fast or quick to judge i've heard a lot of um un unverified reports that he does stuff that he's not supposed to which do is not true as an adult to kids no that it's not true okay. unverified because there were people in the house and i think it was just a bunch of hate stuff um, there's enough people over there that have verified that he is a nice guy. We've talked to him. We've even offered when he comes here that we're going to sit down with him. We've done video chats with him. And that's, I think that is just that love hate thing over there because of what's going on. Okay. There is a team Mark over there that has actually, of course, uh, went after him. And I kind of don't blame the situation of dexter filing something i just don't a lot of people i mean i feel he went too far and i don't care what was said in there there was no reason to have did the full attack like he right did it's kind of like in the u.s even if somebody tells you yells at you obscenities and whatever you don't have the right to throw a punch mm -hmm. and it's obvious that again i mean punch right. and gouge his eyes and everything and, you have and no I, right. I want to say um there was a few things I wanted to say about this. Um, I'd go ahead and there was something that just came to my mind about it's it's just sad when you think about the entire. No, it thing. is. First off, one, it's unnecessary. Um, it's uh, unnecessary in a lot of things. Um, first yeah. off, it was unnecessary violence. There's no need for it. Second, and then everything after that. I mean, it, don't guys, if you're an expat. Just behave for crying out loud. Um, okay, so we're going to release those papers again. Now, we did cover up some names to protect their full identity and everything else, just so you guys know. So if you see something blacked out, because we don't want to reveal everybody on the case. Okay, and I'm going to probably have you pause. Go ahead and pause it. Let's pause right now. Because I'm going to read what we actually have in here. So... It's saying that uh, Dexter, the complaint against uh, Mark, okay, um, a resolution for the complaint of Dexter. It goes into saying what their proof is. Um, it says there was an affidavit by Dexter for the March 22nd. Uh, there was another witness. There's the other witness. Uh, it does mention... Yeah, so it mentions a lot. Oh, you yeah, I would just, yeah, go ahead and run that through. Right. And then it goes through to mention right here the medical expenses, 
the lawyer's engagement fees. A printout was offered and given of the YouTube channel, Every Man Has a Story. Photographs of the injuries. So there's like a medical certificate and everything else. All right. So in consideration, the act of complaint of a penalized imprisonment of not less than four years, two months, and one day. Thus, the complainant is now being resolved based on the evidence submitted. So that appears to be what they're actually now. Will he get that? That's kind of like when they say that, okay, so-and-so's crime was 30 years and they end up getting six or, you know, that kind of situation. But that appears to be what they're saying the time is, is four years, two months, and a day. It's pretty specific, kind of like George expiring in 46 months, one week. 21 hours, 10 minutes, and 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. So it goes on to say the other documents, you can go ahead and run that. So we're just showing you that we do have the documents. It is official. And then on top of that, it um, goes through to say that, He's been served. I think he was served the day that he, the next day right. he did that actual video. And like I said, if he didn't run the 13A, if he did go through an NBI, depending yeah, on the how other day soon he, he said did he was it, working on it, if he filed it, like, well, actually, NBI takes a month or so. So it's possible that none of it would show. But either way, the second rundown, it'll definitely show up. I'd be curious, Chosen One, why you think he won't get any jail time. Well, yeah, that does okay. Well, I again, mean, with attorneys and maybe in, in all fairness, payoff yeah. or I mean, some other things that I I may not think that he might not either, but I think the least that might possibly happen is deportation. Or- there's pro mark again. There's nothing wrong with that, and there's pro Dexter, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. However, the from our findings, the Dexter part is unfounded, meaning these are rumors, lies that they were thrown at basically just to sway the crowd. And no, John, again, I'm not arguing with you, but if you actually pay attention to the video, no. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry, man. I'm a black belt. I fight. I was an instructor in the U.S. with yeah. for Kung Fu and Taekwondo. He's on a permanent visa. He's not a tourist. Yeah. Mark, however. Yeah, Dexter's not on the line right now. It's not even, we don't care. We, we don't care who threw what words first. That's not what's going to play out in the courts. They said that about the guy who got the American who got shot. They're saying that he was starting stuff in the club and all this self-defense stuff. And a bunch of people kept saying he was going to get out without any charges. Well, evidently, there he is still in jail. And it did turn into the charges. But it doesn't matter. It's going to come down to that Mark has kept that video up every day for people to see. And honestly, if I was Dexter, I would go further. I would go further with the situation, okay? The fact that every day there's somebody watching that video over and over and over and over again of saying how he beat him up and stuff. He's the one that's left everything up. Hence the reason we keep covering it. And Chosen One, again, I'm 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 not going against you, but here's the thing. Dexter and the rest of the crowd are allowed in ground zero. Guess who's not? And we've heard the footage. They did say that he, if you watched it, Mark didn't approach those guys. He jumped up, pointed at him in an argument, and he's the one that headed to the door. In his own words, he said he did. Mark is blacklisted from ground zero. Mm -hmm. Justin and Dexter are not. The reason being is there's witnesses there that said Mark started it. And they said this in Filipino, Mm -hmm. in Tagalog. Well, no, they said it in Cebuano. But, you know, I can pick up a few words, but they basically said he started, Mark started. it. Uh, again, I'm not, I'm not being partial here. I'm just telling you what I know and what I've seen and what I've heard physically through the video. And again, in the video, the people in the background were saying, there's Mark. He got up. He started it. He threw the, he threw the, look at him. He's through the first punch. I think that's what they said. And here's, yeah. And here's yeah. the thing I've actually said, and then. It doesn't mean that it happened. What I actually made a comment before is I don't care 
if he said something about Jen and then popped up and then kicked him and punched him at the door at the same time. Oh, he should have just kept his hands. You know, he should well, not have he, started, made a video, he, <laughs> incriminated yourself in the video. I, yeah, I mean. And thought nobody would actually get a hold guys, of the footage. I don't care who, what, whoever these people are. What I'm saying is I'm not being, I'm not saying this because I'm. And that's not what I'm, said. I'm taking sides. That's not it. Point being is, guys, how old are you? That's you're 69 and you're throwing punches? Come on. Basically, what was being said is that according to sources, people in there and other parties, it was all about being there mid-afternoon, uh, who's minding the business, something about who's paid into the business, and just a bunch of stuff from the past. It wasn't even any kind of ruckus whatsoever. It was just some basic stuff and more of a, I don't know, it just seemed quite childish. And at that point, it was just a bunch of small talk that set him off again. And he said that what, what actually sent him that direction is he claimed that he had a bunch of messages sent to him, emails, all these things. As a matter of fact, he, didn't he put his own stuff inside and said that the other person, but I guess it was enough to actually set him off and say, let's go outside. And at that point, he's the one that started. Right. So again, like I said, we're talking about like not, we're not even talking about teenagers. I mean, come on. They're, we're talking about retired guys here. I mean, I don't care who you are. A man are, that had are. a baby on its way, Correct. a YouTuber what are you and thinking? an embassy representative. Well, now he's banned from ground zero. Right. Oh, that's an earth. Now he's, he's, a, he's representative. He's an embassy representative and that's his representation. And so all of that was on the line, and now all of that has been lost. Now is 13A impossibility, you know, uh, a possibility of deportation. He could get a good attorney and could actually maybe possibly get out of it. But that's not going to erase that NBI thing. It's just like in the U.S. if there's a crime. It's no, not that, going it's to there. erase that. It's going to be there. A, he's going to have a blotter and a, and a charge. Yep. It's going to be there mm -hmm. forever. And like, actually, one of you said it right. And that's what we're talking about. Um, I studied the narcissist says, so you have a tourist beating up a resident. Not good for the tourist. Correct. Dexter is on I a permanent resident it. visa. Yeah. And I think this expat on expat thing, a lot of people are saying, ah, they won't pay attention or whatever, but it's still going to be on his record. And that's what's going to count for his immigration for the future. So... Um, why does it matter? Because you can't be a resident unless you're established and vetted for. A tourist, you don't have to be vetted. You, anybody can be a, you can be a felon and still come into the Philippines. A lot of them come through still. I mean, a lot of them get blocked, but a lot of them still get through. Mm -hmm. But Well, he can only do it. He can keep doing a 36-month all the time. But here's the thing. When he comes back in, they could always catch that. that Correct. Charge. No, no, no. They he, don't have to. And that's if they don't deport him because they. that's what we were saying the other Correct. day. It matters. It is matters. that the news just announced that they're going to start checking people more, that spouses and girlfriends, boyfriends that have, like, abuse things done to them or things going on with their visa, a.k.a. the Armstrong family. That's not getting any prettier. There's a lot of stuff going back and forth between them. And a lot of her viewers are telling her, go file something against them at immigration. Eventually that could kick in because they weren't even together for the past year. And he was supposedly in a 13A status, which means if they're not living together, you no longer have status of that visa. So right now with this thing coming up criminal, there's too much proof. I can't see why. And that's not siding with anybody. That's just being real. There's too much proof in his own words. I punched him. I punched him he, because he was working my nerve again, situation. This, it's is, like, this is not gossip. This is facts. This is mm -hmm. stuff that's been said. I don't been care done. if Dexter, like I said, I don't care if what was said. It's what the actions were. And then it's not the only place that they're saying that he's acting out like that. The Filipinos right. throughout the town actually say and, and, that he is like this in real life. And like I said, not taking sides or anything, but I'm just saying if if an establishment bans a person and then the rest doesn't ban, who do you think is the one at fault in their eyes? And also be aware that there's a notice when they ban Mark not only is he banned, he there's actually statements in 
in the same paperwork saying that small town that he mistreats the employees employees right so when ground this zero, is on black and white on paper actually we yeah. have it if you watch our mark videos and those that have been actually, watching be able to find it somewhere um that the document yeah. said that um i might be able to find it quicker than you i would just go through the comments and i'll look for the but those who have seen our ground zero footage we came up with that letter um is it that one it might be let me read it before you because i think it has his i'm not was that actually inside there or was that the yeah, drive it was, no it's in we already downloaded it okay already. then you should be able to put that yeah. up um i think this is the file let's see hold on no like i said this isn't a gossip we're like oh you guys are gossip no we're not we have facts we have paperwork and honestly we've been getting that here lately and we're going to keep is covering things it's that. still news yeah, it is by per management, but I can't. Yeah, you have so, to give me a minute to again, be able to let up. Mark is banned. The rest aren't. Again, not taking sides or anything, but in black and white in paper, it states that Mark Thornton basically right here. It says we are sending you this letter. Um, yeah, it's hard for me because I got it stretched out. Let's see, acts of aggressiveness and vexation towards our staff. Right, towards the staff. So it said that he was banned from ground zero. Correct. Now, Justin and Dexter are fine. So again, that tells you something. Again, not taking sides, but just take the facts in. If somebody's banned and the others aren't, who do you think is in the wrong? Mm -hmm. And again, um... Yeah, because initially we came up with the letter, then everybody's like, oh, you know, Dexter said a bunch of nasty stuff. But remember, it started with Mark. And if people... Our, our coverage in the Philippines is about expat help, always has been, our personal life, expats. It doesn't matter. We've been hearing a bunch about the Armstrong family that it's none of our business. I'm like, if you're an expat here or a YouTuber and you put that out there, that's where we're actually at. And that's what we actually cover. But as far as we put the letter out, told people what was going on, then we actually marked put his own stuff out there to the world his we would have words, never known about several this fight. Not, just, not just once not just twice mm -hmm. he talks about what he did and he left it up now here's the thing and we did mention this and ben Wizzy is on, also on the same boat on this part if mark thornton treats ground zero employees badly name, imagine how bad he treats other philippines now keep in mind this is in public view if he mistreats people in public view Imagine Mark Thornton behind closed doors. Mm. Just saying. Yeah. If a guy can't keep his cool in public, what do you think he can do inside the closed doors? And I'm sorry for all the people that were saying Dexter is such a bad guy. That's not true. Everybody was Dexter's friends. And it here's the thing in this in this country. It seems to be the moment of, you say no to something, you don't give money, you don't do this. It's like you're an outcast all of a sudden. I'm not saying that's what happened, but it's very similar story. If you don't sway with the wind with the other groups in Dumaguete or Angel City, they all of a sudden just outcast you like you guys are high school students, which is really sad and pathetic. And now they're trying to tarnish Dexter and the gang over there. They're talking crap about him and the... It seemed to start it some time ago with uh, Critter Hunter Republic, which is a dive center that everybody is enjoying. They like, he, he's running a business over there. And all of a sudden, Mark started downing his business, saying that the food was bad, that the, you know, but at some point they were all friends. And then he's been putting stuff out. And so it just kind of spinned out from there. Now, tomorrow is Spill the Tea Saturday. Today, tonight is, or tonight or this morning is not the time for us to talk about a lot of things. However, just real uh -oh. quick, chosen ones, because this is, <laughs> you just said this now. I will visit Drama Getty to see what the fuss is all about, but I'm sure I won't like it. Actually, bro, I know you. I like you. We like you. We, we know chosen one first. So he's a, he's a good guy. Yes, he's very nice. Now, don't, don't, just don't. Do yourself a favor, don't. But I mean, guess you, I guess you can go there just to see what the fuss is all about, but. Honestly, from what we've heard, don't. No. The same. Yeah. I mean, I mean, 
I, guess. I just wouldn't get tied up with a bunch of expats. That would be the best advice is just do you and see the sites and stuff. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no, 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 Mr. Adobe. That's the thing. This the thing would have been forgotten. Where it, no, it won't be forgotten because, again, it is never stopped. Nope, never stopped. Again, we have paperwork. And micro channels. He's not we exactly. We have paperwork, again, proving that there is stuff being Ain't happening. about these micro channels. What no. do you think he is? He's still a small channel. Someone the other day talked about how famous the Armstrong family was <laughs> and that people should leave him alone. And it's like, famous <laughs> how? <laughs> the famous okay. channels here are in the millions. Uh, We're all okay. micro channels compared to in, the YouTubers. It was all due respect to everybody. Again, I mean this. One, me and Heidi are not famous nor popular trust me i'm gonna get that money then that's the thing now a lot of you some of you don't honestly some of you never even heard of armstrongs until we talked yeah, about you don't know i'm the queen of god okay they have 170 000 followers okay and honestly we've had people in our in our chat like who's this guy who's this guy fact and again like filipino p and mark thornton well, wouldn't be anything with the, re no. the rest of that group over there dogging somebody like old dog and right. talking about Monty crew and going off about the crew over there and everybody has their likes and dislikes we all don't agree about things right. we've watched mark thornton in the past we still watch his stuff but small micro channels i mean that's what it's been about forever well and like I we said, were here during the pandemic with 90 percent of these guys weren't even here and now all of a sudden half that crew over there and that's actually doing YouTube channels all of a sudden are professionals here and now they know everything and it's like, you know, they say stuff too and but yeah, put it this way again. Like why? Because they suck ass one of the and bigger the up on the channel and they make in numbers our, in our that makes them any better. Nobody's better than anybody's channels, no, 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 micro no, no. channels and but but like I said, in perspective, guys, again, in and with all due respect and all realism. I mean this with all my heart. I'm not being mean. I'm not being. We're trust me, I'm the most people. straight guy you'll ever meet. I will say things whether I agree with them or not if they're true. The fact is, for example, in this entire group, you're talking about old dog, new tricks, Philly in the Philippines. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Um, Filipino P. Filipino P is one of the biggest ones in the in our group in our circle. Guess what? Filipinos Most people don't, don't know though. They don't know who the hell she is. Right. They're just small channels. But I mean, micro or not, I mean, now I would Kulas, just... which some of you probably never even heard of, becoming Filipino is one of the biggest channels among expats. Oh, there's bigger ones, babe. Well, Feeder well, guy is an American but Filipino. Well, that's what I'm saying. The, one of the expat one of the channels. expat channels. He's one of the bigger, one of the expat. bigger ones. And he's the only expat channel that and actually... that's only because he was a fighter boy well, and what I'm saying here is, for a while. He's good enough to become a natural Filipino citizen. Yeah. But even then, most people which don't even know him. Yeah. Which is very exceptional. Yeah. 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 We just go through the comments. What's wrong? Um, Bookham Dano, you're very weird. Your comments don't make sense. Says, why do you keep defending your gender? Nobody even said anything about maybe gender. either he's talking about somebody else. Book him, Dano. Are you talking to somebody else? Mm -hmm. I would just go through. Yeah, I don't. I eye. don't know what he's talking about, but he. So we go in and go through some. Of oh, the hi, Eden. Or for example, hi, hey. Eden Squad's in the house. See, there you go, Eden Squad. Mm -hmm. Um, Adele Eden says, "Kulas." Yes, of course, we know Kulas. Oh, thank you so much. Um, there was one another one in there. Yeah, yeah. Not, no, oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, so. not earlier. It's um Dan Finn. Thank and we're so gonna much, cover Dan. people, guys. We work really hard at our channel and everything's organically grown. You give me a channel, I'll tell you why they've actually made their numbers. I will. Okay. And everybody, everybody has a voice, everybody has what they cover and what they do. Uh, thank you so much, Chosen thank One. Thank you, Chosen. I appreciate it, man. And it's what we do. And why not? just like the rest of them getting their money or covering what they cover and like every man think about every man okay when he started he didn't have no numbers he used old dog there was some sort of fallout and that's what he does he uses other expats to do their interviews and then he never talks to them again and uses them up just for their story and he makes money off of them telling their stories and then he just that's it he never talks to him again situation 
It's just kind of <laughs> odd. <laughs> so chosen one wants a refund. <laughs> you can come over. I'll make grilled cheese. She makes a real good grilled cheese, man. Mm -hmm. Seriously. <laughs> Put like QB mayo on the inside and outside uh, for you. I love so it, it's man. Pretty good. You're, you're funny. But it's it's just where it's at, guys. It, all all of it is just truth. I know you guys love the entertainment. That's why you watch us, and I know that's why you guys watch all these other channels. And we're gonna be about as entertaining and truthful and honest. And I wish there were more channels out there like us, um, because before before I came here, there were only so many of the channels I was watching and a lot of them were the ones doing all the traveling and stuff, but you never heard any real facts. You know, it's just, I just wish there were more channels that were flat out more honest and deep. Oh, that's in Manila. What's that? No, Danny, do you know which, which one you're talking about? I don't know which one you're talking about. It says, um, I just read a story here in Angel City about a couple of foreigners just lost their case and both will be deported. Hmm. Yeah, no, mm. there's always something in the papers that it's quite normal that for us, it's quite normal. Usually they come into our realm when they're YouTubers or, but it could be just about anybody. No neck head photo. Is that up at the beginning or you're going at the bottom of all these, babe? That's, that's no neck head. I know. No, the, well, the, you get well. No, you the guys icon, are. It says is no neck. You head. guys are making money off of all these channel. Also, diva. Um, diva means right. Of course. Of course. Where are they making their money when they're on YouTube? Same thing. Same thing. And what about all of our expat help videos and our personal life videos and all the other things that we do? And then all of a sudden we're making money off of people when we actually cover that. Yes, you're right. And your point. Same with Mr. Mark Thornton. It's a lesson. We always bring a lesson to something. Plus we're updating the regular. So, and what? Those those Filipina channels aren't making money from going around cleaning house and showing themselves wrapped up in towels. The walking street walking people showing walking street following girls around and showing the bars and the girls coming in and out of the bars or actually in the club. That's not how they're making their money. Most of the YouTube channels are making money because they're in this country. Well, actually, one of them is actually um, is down here. I believe he's Russian. Oh boy. And for I don't know, it's about two months now. He's been running the same thing about walking down Walking Street and then they stop him from filming and he's been at that Jimmy Crickets talk about milking a cow. He's still stopping at that bar and actually he's saying still, they're giving him a hard time. He's still milking that cow. I don't feel about, sorry. Oh, I'm not I'm not allowed to record here yet. Like, dude, get over it. I'm like, yeah, you're really not supposed to be Jesus. focusing in on the bar owners or the girls. There's so much to the job, guys. I get it. I get people are. Um, I've seen a comment about a shoestring budget and people, you know, making additional money, which some do. For like us, sure, it's extra money. It's not how we're going to go broke. It's not how. But at some point, I thought about us not doing the channel anymore as of November, December because of burnout, like a lot of people won't admit. Re regardless, don't do not do a YouTube channel, trust me. Yeah. You I don't mean, want to. You don't want to. Yeah. It's, it's like owning a business, which technically YouTube is a business. Um, you don't own the business. The business owns you. Kind Same of. thing I mean, when that's you run the channel. Actually, it's just too much work you. that's been put into it to actually give it up. And ours is organic. We don't pay for the advertisement. We don't use other channels. We don't go through other channels to actually, you know, where we appear on their channel and then go to another channel and another channel. And then you gain a bunch of numbers. We've done it on our own. We've done it through Mexico and the United States and now here. So it's what we do, guys. Yeah. On video, Most old definitely. dog said he never want to see Mark Thorne, Mark Thorne again. That would be just fine. I wonder what happened between them. Um, that's a reoccurring theme with Mark. The same. Um, actually, we have um tea to spill about him but i'm not sure if we're allowed to there's there's a lot of things we know but we can't really talk about um eden squad says click on the dollar sign in the lower right corner and it should go from there pick how much you want to build thank you so much appreciate that so much um adele 
Um, hey, Hurley. How you hey, doing? Hurley. What's going Hurley on? Hurley says, off topic, <laughs> Mike showed. <laughs> Irregular, huh? <laughs> Irregular. Asking a minor C. Huh? Um, I think they are discussing him on Walking Street, and that is very debatable on situation. Oh, like that, that one. Okay. No, the no, one, no. There's, the there's, one that appears to be. There's a lot of. Um, okay. Not. Which we'll be covering a bunch tomorrow. Yeah, I was going to say this is for tomorrow. This is yeah, not for today's actually yeah, about this, Mark. That's well, why we're doing an extra live. For life. tonight, for you guys, not right now. Yeah, in about another 12 hours. Yeah. But give or, give or take on that, our side on that right now is we're very, what do you call it, like prove it situation. Kind of like there's the proof that Mark Thornton has put his own video out. And now we have court documents and he's been banned and other Filipinos say he's like he is. That's proof enough for us to sit around and talk about it. In the case that there are other channels covering regular guy, do we think he's being creepy? The answer is yes. Do we think it's highly for entertainment and he's gone over the edge? The answer is yes. Um, do we think at this point he's broken a few laws? It's kind of like in the United States. It's kind of like yes and no. But we know that there are a lot of people like turning him in, going down to the NBI and doing a bunch of stuff, which is which is commendable that the people are actually doing that. But the instant that they're talking about is the one of him on Walking Street where where the mayors and governors and everybody knows that's what goes on down there. And he propositioned, I believe you're talking about that video where he claimed his mother was on there and he propositioned a girl that was propositioning him. So I I have zero thoughts on that one except for he was where he was and he knew where he was and a lot of them have been down there, several of those vloggers. Well, it's one of these. It's okay. I think it's all entertainment. Not, go, not going against anybody. Okay, again, in all fairness, because remember, you have to detach. Mo every, whenever you analyze the situation, detach everything. Forget forget regular guy. Replace regular regular guy with somebody you don't know. Um, one second. Okay? Um, uh, Hurley, I'm just going to ask real quick. Are you saying that's not the video? So maybe that's what he was responding to. Okay, well, like. either way. Now, the video in question, Mike, MYK Mike, did uh, did talk about a video where he was propositioning, propositioning or being proposed by um, hookers. Okay. The, the issue I have is you have to remember you're analyzing a guy who's in a certain location with certain people that do certain things. So what I'm saying is, if he behaved that way somewhere else in, let's say, a church, again, it would be different. But his behavior during that location with those certain type of people makes sense. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. I mean... You because don't. That's you, the one where I say you don't go to a red light auto. district and behave like you know the governor. You know what I'm saying? He said he was not being proposed. No, no, no. Again, it, it's not. Yeah, okay. Again, I'm. I'm was using, it the live stream? I'm really? using words here loosely, but either way, I'm. Ta I'm saying regular guy was in a red light district, behaving what anybody. In would behave in, in a red light district do and actually technically he was kind of silly for keeping it on camera i'm yeah. not denying his that behavior he to and... me it it's fine because it's in the right place you know now if you behave like that in a supermarket and talk to the girls in a counter like that that's a different story but these are no his behavior these are like working really, women that, really creepy you guys get my point i mean guys analyze everything i mean come on if if you go to a red light district and talk to a hooker, I mean, what what kind of conversations are you going to have? Oh well, uh, you know what? How's this China um, border thing going there, Miss? You know, you don't talk to a hooker like that. I mean, come on. I'm just saying. Yeah, Stanley Booth says it goes with the territory. Correct. It goes with the territory, and that seems to be the main video besides the ones of him going around town. But I mean. Here's the thing. It'll be the NBI and immigration and the local police that actually will go after him. That is for sure. So now, John Ryder, that part I agree on. Everything stays on the street. Now, the, the issue with that video is the video, meaning everything he did in that video 
belongs in that street. It, it's out, It's in place. It's not out of place. He behaved to anybody. Any guy would. Well, not, not any guy, and but a lot gotta, of guys do. And they got to understand there's a lot of vloggers right. that are down there doing a way worse than that. But again, okay. it, way it, worse. what John Ryder is saying is, you know, what, what happens in Some Vegas stays in Vegas. Favorites. Yeah, pretty much. But that's the problem. Instead of everything that happens on Walking Street stays on Walking Street, he decided to post it. And that's the issue we have. And not, Rick, not his behavior in Walking Street. Real quick. Um, Rick uh, Merriman says, I realize you get views and YouTube. Um, let's see. I realize he gets you views and a YouTube colleague, but stop defending Scotty Boy. That's not what we're doing. We're not defending You guys him. just seeing that. We you, see. And we were going to address this tomorrow <laughs> because we don't have to sway with the other channels and say that that's what's going on. You guys are seeing what you want to see, and I still don't. We actually are, are to that point. I mean, we just recently had Scotty on. We didn't know him before that, okay? And right now, yes, we think he's being creepy and everything. That's not defending him. That's just like we do everything else. I still, okay, we get that he's looking for the young girls and he focuses well, we'll, we'll cameras. We'll talk about this next live. It's really not for this live. That's the yeah. thing. This, this live is actually for Mark. I'm making him feel special. Hey, Mark. Um, <laughs> right? no, no, no. Actually, I was trying to keep quiet because I really didn't want to talk about regular guy right now because this is not the topic for today. And that, or t this live, rather. That's Right. So at. the multiple videos that are being put out, you should look at all of the vlogger stuff. Take more look at regular guys. Take more look at all of Andy's. Take more look at all of and Mike's videos. Actually, take a look at Tim K's and everybody that's putting stuff out there on him. And and I'm sorry. And, I'm well, like like again, not defending regular guy again, not defending nor condemning him. Chosen one has said it perfectly. Scotty is lightweight. I've seen expats worse than him. And he, we said that. That's where I'm not even like that's dude, where why we, are you picking there's worse people out there that actually do worse stuff. That's where we're at. We don't we don't see it because I think that it's you know, I don't care what the other you guys have to make that decision on your own. If you think that's what you're seeing and that's what he's doing, then we highly recommend that you guys turn in reports on him. We ourselves won't go down there. We have before on other expats when there's solid, solid proof. And Andy says he has it. We believe him. And if he goes down there and files the reports, that's fine. Right now, a lot of our people are agreeing that currently what is being shown is still not. He's just doing it all for YouTube. He's a little creepy. He likes them young and all that. But that's not going to make me go down and file because there are guys marrying 18 and 19 year olds, dating them for a while. And it's just not going to flip me over. I'm used to seeing this in Asia now. It, it doesn't even, and there's way worse going on. Animals being tortured, kids being tortured. Ones that are eight, nine, and 10, this is happening to. I'm not worried about a 17 year old or an 18 year old or a 19 year old. Most of the girls, in George's opinion, in my opinion, they look at least 18 that he actually pans on. Okay, so he's panning. Do you realize how many YouTube channels do this? Okay. It would take all day to catch all of them. So, yes, it's frightening that they're worse than um, ones that regular guy is. Um, Dan Finn. Now, here's another thing. Um, this is somewhat of a good point. I say somewhat because actually you nailed it on the head somewhat. Um, you are forgetting how regular guy reflects the Philippines badly in global form. Yes, however, there are so still a ton of them. There's still worse vloggers out there that you recently, guys know that be actually, honest with yourself. All of you in this room have been in other channels when they've been coming down on these other guys walking around. Like there's a ton more that have done this. There there is well what I'm saying is okay, Dan Finn again, he's a bad reflection. Yes, there's I a get lot it. of them that but are here's bad the reflection. Thing. There's a fighter boy, a particular fighter boy. Um, Fighter Boy is a group of vloggers here that actually just made a very damning, very bad video against the Filipino the people. Sure. Against the Philippines. And trust me, regular guy is nothing. It's like. It's bad. Usually, here's the scary part most of them are not vloggers. They're just down there. They're just expats that are doing it on a daily basis throughout the Philippines. There was a guy that just came through Angeles City. 
that actually went into all the bars showing some of the stuff coming out, talking about where to go get this, where to get that, where to find the nastiest Filipinos, talking about their personal life, putting cameras on everybody. And he's a vlogger. These guys come in and out of the country constantly. So to me, to me, it's like everybody needs to open their eyes up. If you guys feel that, then we say report it, you know, but us. Yeah, we're not saying we're not saying that he's innocent. We're, I mean, we're just if, saying if that I feel that strongly, that then do something about it. Yep, that's just where we are on that one. Now, however, um, thank you so much, Charles Fans, and thank you so much, Michelle Vallejo, because of you, I know where not to go, right? Thank you. Now, what I'm saying is, yes, again, Marcel, Bill, Bill bon, Benios, he's right. He just mentioned Marcel. He is really bad. The Russian Marcel, oh, yeah. that's the yeah, one. See? That's what I mean. He walks up and asks what he'll just flat out ask you, what position do you want to do it in? Right. Um, there's a couple others that are there's on the There's some really street. vile people, vloggers out there. Okay, I'll give you an example, and I'm not afraid of them. You know what I'm talking about? Um, hold on. <laughs> oh, you don't um Right, yeah, we were discussing. We're just discussing, make right. sure that, you know. Yeah, so we're talking about the Lachone guy. Tom, <laughs> Lach Tom, whatever, Lachone or something. It, I'm going to put him it's, out it's, there. Yeah, but it's for later. It's not for now. No, I got that. So, <laughs> well, just some of the things that are done there. Heidi's spilling the kinda... tea already. She's a little early, guy. So, no, I mean, the guy goes and. I mean, guess there's nothing wrong with hang handing out rubbers on Walking Street and putting a bunch of Filipinas on. And to me, it's a form of degrading what he does. He talks about positions and sizes and what he does to them and them being gay and all the ladyboy stuff. And he puts a lot of Filipinas up on his channel and does interviews and they get drunk. And I'm going to tell you what, I couldn't verify their ages. Oh, Cedric says I reported him to the police and mayor. Yeah. Um, John Ryder says you can report through YouTube. Rick Merriman says Mark is going down. Hmm. Are are these other vloggers over twenty? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely over twenty k. Um, well, yeah, that's not the first time. If if he's going through that again, there's been a lot of people that he's saying Sunshine Shoulders is being investigated by NBI. But gosh, that happened about a year ago. But. Yeah, Marcel, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Rick Merriman says, WTF. Yeah, the is, pace on Is an That's 18 year old doing with a 46 year old dude? It's called pace on We well, just had somebody that contacted us and said that that's who he dated in the United States. A guy's near 50 or 60, and he says he doesn't oh, hear damn. a lot of guys. Travel Trent says, Tom is crazy, though. He fights. Yep. Talking about That's Tom, the way Tom her, Young yeah. So mm -hmm. that dude by has um, banners printed and gives them to the tricycle drivers, so and they they're on the back them. of their trikes. Yeah, he advertises. Yep. So I'm just saying that there are others, but here's the thing: in my opinion, they won't go after him. They won't go after him. That we've said that before. So there are nastier characters out there. I just think because we talked about that it's definitely some sort of persona that he's putting out. We just found another one that acts just like regular guy. He doesn't focus his camera, oh, but he tells crap. the same crap about the Philippines. He dogs the Philippines. He talks about the women here. He talks about them in the West, but you can't see him because of his helmet. And he's got some, oh, that he guy. pinches off his nose so you don't recognize his so, voice. Yeah, this is how he kind of talks. But he's starting out the way regular guy did, where he came in, talk about, I, we knew that him being kind of rude and stuff was just part of it too, but um, there's a lot of. Yeah, Bill Vino there, says, remember but... Mr. Bond, right? Remember, guys, remember yeah, Mr. Mr. Bond? Yeah, Mr. Bond, Showing that was another one. Harem or... Yeah. Regular guy is lame compared to uh, right. He is like the bottom rung. If you if you're gonna rank 
somebody who's kind of like, I mean, again, not judging. I mean, him. we're going to discuss him because he's a topic going around. I wouldn't. But know. what what we're saying is like, guys, I mean, he's kind of down there. Like, eh, you know mm. what I mean? Yeah, I haven't. What I'm saying is, OK, legally. Legally, he's in trouble if, if enough reports actually come through. It could cause he will if he goes down it's because of his own actions and i will say he's creepy so enough of those creepy actions i just wish the country would would snap down on a bunch of this other stuff and it's just not bloggers it's the expats coming well, in and out like we said there's a lot worse than and that's just us being down. honest i don't hear anything from other channels talking about that they know that they Honestly, all know that my issue my issue with regular guy okay first off i do i do again like that he goes out and tries i do like that true however um i think he departed from his original sort original content which is again telling stories i think he's yeah he's kind of moved that. on yeah i think he's better doing that um just saying my opinion right? and i know a lot of people agree with that part of it. A gypsy gypsies in the house uh said i heard this was a movie critic channel you know it isn't gypsy you've been on our panel before yeah michelle says i spray <laughs> opening people's eyes Dangerous, uh -huh. but a regular guy has over fifty cases. Well, he does, but again, he he's still small fry. And just saying, I mean, we're small fry. He's small fry. Um, but enough, he's bringing attention to himself right here, and they won't go after Jasper either. That's another one that I think does some weird stuff. There's a bunch of them, guys. There, there really is, and most of them <laughs> don't even have YouTube channels. Oh my and we're gosh. not saying that it's right. You guys talking about his moves again? No, read it. If everyone's concerned about the particular video um, with Mr. Guy, why, why are they expressing now? The videos is a year old and deleted. Somebody has some time on their hand to record the videos. On. Well, that's what we're kind of saying. And when we say that, then we're being called that we're an absolute supporter of a pedo. And I don't care if that's what people say. I say... This is where I said get involved, which also is may sound wrong here in a minute, but let me know, okay, when I catch him down an alley when they're when he's on top of an eight, nine, or ten year old. Him him panning in on what appears to be a 15, 16, or 17 year old, I'm gonna let that town take care of him. Okay. Believe me, there'll probably be some mob justice eventually when he makes somebody angry in one of these towns that he's going to. It, it's just bound to happen eventually but in my opinion the videos the panning in most of these girls do look 16 17 18 19 and to me they it's... appear to be however most of them are not right but i still don't think that they're going to go after him for no, about, no, no. About legally, the one thing, legally, I don't think legally will, no. the biggest thing they've got right now is him propositioning the girl on Walking Street, and then they'll call it propositioning as a as her being a prostitute. That might be something they can get him out of the country for. So it's may it's going to take witnesses. It's going to take parents to come forward. It's going to take a lot to actually do it. Believe it or not. So and right. probably enough reports. So. Yeah. That is for sure. A lot of the girls here, honestly, they look really young, but they're not. I mean, even it's not wrong all the same. They they, but... they fool me, trust me. <laughs> and I'm a I, I know I'm Filipino. I mean, um, that didn't sound right. They fool me. Well, <laughs> as far I mean, even it's like again, like I said before, um, Western girls or women look older than they are, mm -hmm. but in the Philippines, backwards. Mm -hmm. They look younger than they are. I mean, it doesn't make it any right. Believe me, when I got here, I am very unused to seeing these guys married. We're talking guys. And think about, I have to put the vloggers up front because that's what most of you seen that have not been here or only been here on the occasion. There are 60, 70, 55-year-old men with 20-year-old wives, 22-year-old wives, 23-year-old wives. There is more than a 20 year age gap in these guys and some of them are super young that you don't even see vlogging okay so there's a lot of young 18 19 20 year olds marrying all the time all the time so i'm used to seeing that now again from the beginning we said that panning is wrong 
We've seen it on, on Walking Street. We've seen it in Cebu. But now all of a sudden everybody wants to get their panties in a knot and, and they're, they're going after one guy. And we said before, we're like, why, why just him? Okay, he's popular. How come this or how come that or why we're talking about it? It's because it's what's popular and what's actually going on. I get it. I get it. But I think, I don't know. It's a lot going on. It's kind of like, it's kind of like when, um, just say no to drug situation. Like, you're going to go, you're going to go after we're the gonna cartel. Have, we're going to have a dare guy. Right. Yeah. It's like. Okay, let's move a few pounds yeah. of green off the street, and that's going to fix the problem. Yeah. <coughs> Rick Merriman says, all I can say, dudes are coming to the Philippines for women. They're all just a little less in the Philippines than I'm talking about regular and normal women. Mm -hmm. If you can't attract a lady in the West, it's probably not happening in the Philippines either. It does, though. It actually does. And George... As a Filipino say, do these guys really believe these women are actually going after them just because they're in love? The ones, the vloggers that are married to these women that are in their mid-20s, okay, quite a few of them, I'm sorry, a lot of these are province girls, a lot of these are girls that were in a certain predicament and everything else, and I'm sorry, they wouldn't have landed these same women in the U.S. And it's not because they're gold diggers, because those same women here are the same as they are in the West. We're talking, okay, let's bring back in the Armstrong family in this divorce. You realize how many Filipinas have contacted her in her comment section and mentioned that the oh, Westerners, so I know, but we can talk about it tomorrow. We have enough to talk about tomorrow. <laughs> that, these Western, that these Western guys have actually left them for younger women. These are women that are under 30 that said their men after a few years and kids decide to move on. So they're leaving him for even younger and younger and younger. And they're like, man, I'd go after him. I'd have him deported. I'd have this. I'd have that. And it's just happening, guys. It's happening. So many of the women said their Western men have left them already. It is where it is. But then there are also the Filipinas that have actually taken them for a boat ride, too. Women are women everywhere. Yeah, yeah but I think their bananas go sideways, though. And so do you. <laughs> Mine veers to the left. <laughs> what? Are the rumors true about your small pee pack? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. And your future trike jobs? Yes. <laughs> That's why most of the women I did in the West are um, taller than me. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, Victoria says people can cut up and patch different videos into one. And make their own story from from them to others detriment just to cause harm to someone for their own views and that clout that's why we try i think that's yeah, why it's we're called, hated uh, a lot because we do we bring like the facts and put them together we're not chopping up a bunch of things and setting off a witch hunt or a hunt for somebody like 100 percent. we're not like okay Everybody go down here and do this, or everybody do this, or every do that. We we usually nine out of ten times have almost the entire facts. That's why it takes us days to respond when something starts to happen, unless it actually happens on the spot. Like now, we just got a hold of the documents today and spoke quite yes, a bit extensively. Thank you so to much for the documents and the info you have given us. Thanks so much, mm -hmm. um, John Ryder. We try to be extensive. Casper? Yes, Casper the Cluck. Well, I, I think he meant cuff, but yeah. Um, Rick Merriman says of lots of lonely dudes in the Philippines. The stalking and the arm are doing it is illegal. And AJ like I said, says, we're not saying that regular guy's innocent by no means. I just don't think you guys got to understand, although we say things will all come around in due process, the Philippines is still behind guys. And who they go after depends on what's going down. And this isn't us against the other channels because the other channels are out for themselves too. Okay, we're just trying to be as informative as possible and we're just not going to sway all of a sudden and say, yeah, that's the way it is. Now, we've had regular guy on our channel. I said my piece about the Muslim woman. I said that was wrong. I said, I don't like about you panning on women, but the Muslim one is because she was modest and covered and you said something about her big breasts. And his answer was, don't watch. And I'm like, 
yeah, but I told George later on that night that eventually if he keeps doing this panning, somebody's going to get a hold of him, okay? Somebody's going to get a hold of him in that manner. And it's just, you know, it's those specific videos where he's talking about their body parts and focusing in on them that would get him in trouble with the Philippine government. Yes. That's where I feel he's going to go down. Bruce says, we can't assume the girls were underage when you don't even know who they are or their name, let alone their birthday. Even then, it looked like he was having fun and joking with the girls. That's all. We right. look young to me. We come across kids constantly. We try to cut a lot of that footage out, but again, I think that's been his stick here lately. And you're going to, um, what is the percentage of the Philippines where they all are under 25 or 30? Isn't this country got a high rate? I honestly don't uh, know. Does anybody know what that is? I know there's a lot of young people here versus old. Yeah, I, I think the percentage is pretty high. I know that uh, age. The Pinoy lawyer on Mike's show gave several violations of the law by a regular guy, including the seriousness and legal implications of degrading the image of the country by a foreigner. Yeah, then they're going to have to arrest everybody. Um, Bilibino, he says, yes, he agrees. Um, Western, yeah, 15 year olds look 22. This is very true. Mm -hmm. um, it's reversed in the Philippines. A 15 year old in the Philippines looks like a 12, 11 year old. No, it's so true. Or in, an in, 18 or 20 year old looks 11. In fact, when I was in sixth grade, actually in my entire um, elementary years, I went to school with an American girl. Um, her name was Teresa. She towered over all of us. And she was developed. Like, we were all like, the heck? You know what I mean? She looked like we were like, what, 12? And she looked like she was like, I would say 16. No, I mean, um, Western, I guess, biology, they age faster and Asians tend to not age as fast, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, John Ryder says their families are so poor in the province, they will do about anything to help them. Some do, some. Some do. And no, yes, Rick Merriman says again, sorry, you don't automatically become Brad Pitt. No. However, however, okay, here's the thing. said so the average median age is 25, and it is a younger right. group here in the Philippines. You don't turn into Brad Pitt when you come to the Philippines. However, you do have one thing that you have an edge on. One, you're an exotic, meaning... You're a foreigner. You're a foreigner. I mean, if... No matter what the age. Right. So you will get attention right away. Second, the fact that you think that you're Brad Pitt makes you Brad Pitt. You are who what you think you are. So you have the confidence, whether it's false or not, based on false pretense. Let's say, I think I'm Brad Pitt. Like, literally, I think I'm Brad Pitt. I'm going to approach girls. And guess what? I have a higher probability of scoring because yeah, I believe have the confidence. in myself. Mm -hmm. And girls know this. They feel this like, oh, he's confident. He's strong. He's a man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm not. I'm actually for when I first got here, I was taken back because you're not going to see that in the U.S. You're just not going to see most of these guys after a certain age, after divorces, the same with women. They usually don't. When those datings happen of that age in the United States, usually it's because of money, property, and that's where the cougar thing comes from. That's where it comes in with the sugar daddy. Heidi's a cougar. You better get your hands off of me. <laughs> and that's just where it's at. But I think it's cool that guys come here for retirement because it's so expensive in the West. And a lot of them are like, oh, I'm not going to find anybody. And then they do find love. A lot of people think these guys are just coming here and they're racing straight forward just to come over here and just get some. And I think a lot of the guys are just coming here to retire. I think love comes for more than 50% secondhand, 50, 60% of the guys that come here. And I think that's, I think that's great. I actually really do think that's great. Where the other part of me that sees some of them, some just go too far. I mean, as far as like, you'll see the ones that are in their mid sixties or seventies with the 19 and 20 year old. 
And then they go around showing them off to their friends or they start these YouTube channels or they have them start their own channels. And there's a bunch of odd stuff that goes on on the outside of it. And there's so much of an age gap. There's just nothing in common. And then down the road after kids, they all break up and go for somebody younger. And it's just those are the ones that are very sad to me. So but I think the second chance at a relationship is really great. I really do. Right. No, no, no. Um, no, I agree. Um, now, here's the thing. Actually, Mark Rover says, hey, Mark, um, I like Scotty and Andy Omar recently replayed Scotty saying that he only likes them between the age of 18 and 3. That's true. Now, um, John Ryder so says. So do a lot of them if you look at their wives on their channels. Actually, here's the it's interesting It's very quite part. normal. John Ryder says, I recommend you for a legal ID for messing with a girl. And boys, again, remember, you know, it doesn't matter male or female if you're you know, with the guys, and obviously check their ID too. Mm -hmm. Um, but here's the funny thing: Philippine IDs usually, I said usually, not all of them, they have a contact number on their card, and it says who it is. What I'm saying is, for example, if I if you get a hold of my ID, it says I have a wife named Heidi, and it has her phone number on it my does. ID. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, so Look it's for actually the husband's good, ID. Yeah, if you check their ID for oh, the age, just say it's their brother. No, it did say spouse. Did it? No, oh, it right. says wife. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, there that's you go. That's what I'm go. saying. Some some IDs say that's that. That's if so, they have. So if a you're going to check ID, look for something that says wife, spouse, part, you know, whatever. But remember, they can be bought too. It only takes a fixer oh, here. There are fake. Yeah. Well, there's fake IDs even in the U.S. Yeah. Um, Goldberg says it's a great idea. It's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, you can get the license now. Um, Jojo says my prior law enforcement experience and usually working prostitution things in California. Our guy is definitely zooming in younger girls who knows what he does with the video. I agree, he's zooming. He's just going through the comments. You got dead air there. I'm well, counting so, on sorry, you. Sorry, there's, so. there's a lot. No, no, no. There's a lot of chatter. And um, I'm just. <laughs> Big Dave says, I'm Brad Pitt. I'm Brad Pitt. Yeah, oh. it didn't work. <laughs> and we'll op we're going to open up the panel oh, tomorrow. Because this Broken was an extra live life. stream. In America, when you go through midlife crisis, you buy a sports car in the Philippines. Guys, just get a younger women. It is so true. Yeah. There were several women that said they're Americans and Westerners have dropped them, and I believe it. I believe it. It's you know, I'm sorry. If 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 the man marries this younger woman, and I'm sorry, it's happening more than you guys oh, know. Damn. I believe it. We have a Harold Balder fan here. He's got a great channel. Um, love the guy. Um, the Northern Returned. My favorite YouTuber's mistake was hooking up with Tim K. He did. And handing him a hundred thousand views on a silver platter. Well, he Baller gave him a has he gave him really a, well. a, a yeah. little push there. Yes. A lot of them do. A lot of the bigger ones add certain boosts for certain reasons. That's for sure. And just remember, at the end of the day, what happens in the West does happen here. I think too many guys have been listening to too many YouTube channels and other platforms, Facebook, that everything you know doesn't. That everything is so much different here with the women and with the men and the cost. And then they get over here and find out that things are more expensive. The women are still the same. I just seen a channel today, the one I pointed out, where the actual wife, they live in Russia. And she's always up in his face being nasty. I mean, she's like, you better listen to me right now. And I don't think it's uh, whatever, but she's always trying to overpower on the guy on the actual channel. And she's always making threats in his face. and. I won't cook and I won't do this and just leave me alone. And I'm like, maybe it's a persona, but the women, the women are great here, just like the guys. But I think people are banking too much that nothing will ever happen. And the next thing you know, you're, you know, the land that you thought was yours that you put in her name and different things that happen, things can happen. <laughs> Breakups do happen. They find other men and all this other stuff. It happens. Well, life goes on. Life goes on. Life goes on. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter what continent you're on. Life goes on. And it means you guys should always just be 
you know, like you would be in the West or anywhere else. You're just be behave. Alert. I mean, yeah. you know. Oh, behave. Just be alert about right. relationships. Um, and... Jason Bourne says there's awesome. no love in the Philippines. It's all transactional. A lot of people will disagree with you. Um, it's the same in, again, we always say the same in the West. It could be transactional in the West. Maybe a little more so in Asia, but it's, I don't know. I'm just recalling my my relationships in the, in the West, West. If any of them were, were transactional, no, I never saw it that way. But then again, my relationships they've always been long lasting. I never have like I was never a fling guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, dating is different from actually having a relationship. Well, that's why certain channels and certain things will talk about red flags and what to meet. But these guys every time fall for things and it doesn't mean because they're in the province but it's a start you're talking about a provincial girl that thinks getting popcorn in a movie is the best thing of the year and there's nothing wrong with that but to me there's different sides of being thirsty too and the women can be that way too and i think some guys take advantage of it and then there are the other ones that really don't well, western women can be thirsty too just well i know no, 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 I'm no, aware no, of that no. but some red some of the red flags that come along with it is you know, there like are educated women. women. Oh, sorry. I, I hate thirsty women. Bad. Yeah. You wouldn't know what to do with a thirsty woman anyways, George. That's true. He talks about Wait. the good talk. Anyways, I'm, we're not here for dating advice. <laughs> not today. Not today. <laughs> my american ex spoiled me but she was mexican that's a very good culture mexican culture is a very good culture mm -hmm. um i'm not talking about american mexican i'm talking about mexican mexican they're it's kind of like filipinos um americanized filipinos behave differently from born and raised filipinos from here i would know i am born and raised down here and i wouldn't identify automatically born and raised filipinos in america right away because their behavior is different and i'm not talking about um Make their me. their language or their vernacular skills like that because again you can't tell from my from my lack of accent rather but no our, um, our cats are like an early warning system on some things see look at her staring <laughs> she's staring yeah. down something uh the big uh cat that we have mango the big orange one he's getting bigger by the moment since he's been fixed but he was staring down something in the corner in the dark in the bathroom yesterday behind one of the cabinets. I was like, please don't let it be a snake. Because he was, the whole time, I was like, oh, crap, oh. there's something big back there. Rick Merriman, you were in, you were in the Navy in the 1980s. Sweet. In Where were you at? Longapal? I mean, most Navy guys I know, they, they're usually stationed in Longapal. Zambales. In Zambales, Longapal. Yeah, let us know where you were. Um, you'll be in Barakai next month. Um, Stanley says, my wife, two years older than me, is going on vacation next month to Negros. Negros. Um, are you going with her? That's kind of, he says she's going on vacation. Well, it's probably it's probably just her. Oh, yeah, so Hurley, Palawan. I agree with you. Barakai is overrated. Go to Palawan. Palawan is so much better. Subic Bay. Yeah. Subic, yeah, Subic. Did you go through all the comments at the top? Maybe at the bottom? Yeah, Subic Bay, along with yeah, Subic Bay. Gotcha. Well, we'll definitely be covering just a breakdown tomorrow of the regular guy and yeah. opening the panel. We might even get the other two channels on here. It might be that we have, um, you know, MYK on and that we will have, um, yeah, and, and just Andy on. And it's not that we're 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 just one that's staying neutral because and it's not I, I can't explain the the neutrality on it because it seems like I mean it's not like we're gonna invite him to come into the house or anything, but I'm not gonna be down there. I just think there's I just I don't know, babe. You know where I kind of stand on that regular guy thing because um now, now, for those veterans out there that have been stationed here in the Philippines, just real quick, I have something to share. And some of you just will probably remember this. Um, actually, we have a lot of veterans in, in the crowd. We have Ted. We have Rick. Um, 
most bases yeah, they have later, Rick. they have their own um broadcasting stations they have oh, their that's own, right. they have their own channel they broadcast it and um actually that was one of my favorite channels is the park has its own channel and i watched that channel that's where i watched um the simpsons Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, I like the Simpsons. Um, hey, what's up? Today? I forgot what that. But anyway, no, I I love um American program because we got their channels from Parker, and that's where, like you said, a lot of his friends that live here, raised here. George was born, yeah, and, born raised and raised here, here. college, um, family here, brothers a doctor, uh, family in the U.S., homeowners, educated, um, the. They don't have accents. It's just, uh, it's strange. As heavy as the accents are here, I thought I'd get here and be a lot more. Um, the daughter, no accent. It's kids in the hall. They played oh kids, my God, in, the kids hall. in the hall. Clark Air Base broadcasted kids in the hall. Um, travel trends. There will be more Armed Force Network. AFN is what he said. That's oh, there it is. There it is. Armed Forces Network. Yeah, there you go. Phil. And there already yeah. is younger expats here. They're just mostly in Makati and Barakai and the 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 what we call more fashionable places. And they're coming. Okay. Something I heard Mark Thornton say the other day. He advised somebody to apply for one of those. Uh, what's the visa? Um, the one about working here. I always forget the name of the visa. The SRV? No, the one for working here temporarily online. The SWP, Special Work um, Permit? My mind is blank right now, babe. No, the temporary one where they work here. Okay. So, Bingsy mentioned that the, the travel one where guys work in other countries. Oh, you're talking about the, um, <laughs> no, Wait, the Nomad? We, there it is. You guys got to understand, visa. I read through a ton of emails, read a lot of comments, and things and numbers start to swirl around. The Nomad Visa. Yeah. The Nomad Visa is coming, but they were supposed to start it a month or two ago. They never yet, did. It's so when yet. that when they mentioned that, we did a whole video on the Nomad Visa in our um, immigra or immigration section or expat help uh, section, the playlist we have. But when that comes through, that'll change a lot of things because right now people don't want to come in on a tourist visa 30, 60, 90 days because after they're here for so long and they get an ACRI card and all that, you can only work so long in the country without any issues. And people have been tossed out for actually working even online. So when the nomad visa comes along and people are allowed to work online legally and still pay taxes back to their country and do all this proper stuff. I think there'll be a lot more. Yeah, there people is digital there. nomad. Digital yes. nomad. Digital nomad. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. I think that'll bring in a lot more people. They just don't have that right now. So those that are coming in here, I believe in the SRV, you know, the retirement visa, the permanent, the 13 A's are allowed to work here, and then of course there's the other visas you can work here, and then I think there's the schooling permits allow some work, but you have to have the proper work permits to work here. Once they do that, I think it'll they'll be they talking about them being one to two years. So during the two years, you got to keep insurance is what they're saying. You have to make so much money. They're not going to accept that you're just making a thousand a month situation. I believe they're talking about it being minimal of two to three thousand a month. You got to keep the insurance um, for medical and you'll be allowed to work. The permit will be all in one, but you also have to prove who you're working for. So in that case, you would have to have those work documents or asking for bank statements to make sure you're financially secure. Um, and um, the YouTubing will fall under something different. Um, they might make people actually start doing that that are coming you know, long term here that don't want to be on any other visa because it's still working, guys. It is still an online job. You're still recording here and owning the channel is something different. So, But when them come, I think there'll be a younger crowd. So. Yeah, we have a lot of interesting chatter here. Um, Makati's the last place. Honestly, that's where a lot of them go that don't want to experience the real Philippines. To me, that's... That's very westernized. And there's yeah. nothing... Well, okay, there's nice parts of Makati. There's rundown parts of it. BGC, but yeah. Makati, BGC area is the most western area you can be in. And it's the most... 
Yeah, people say they go there and they've experienced the Philippines, and I would disagree. Right. That's that's a. I mean, you're still getting a taste of being outside, you know, a Western country. You're still going to know that you're in another area. I guess that would be it's... like going to New York and saying that's America. Something like that. Yeah, yeah and you didn't get out to the heartland in Nebraska. Or, Correct. Correct. Know. That's. I think that's what what it is. Yeah. And um, Idaho no, I think that we're talking about uh, we're going to open the panel in spill the tea. Right? Yes, tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, because or well, tomorrow for for the ones in the Philippines yeah, and later an tonight for you guys. Yeah, um, twelve yeah. hours when we do our next live stream. This was an extra to let you guys know that we're like ninety nine percent. We have the court documents. The other sides have their documents. We're pretty sure he did. Mark Thornton should have it, and if he doesn't, it could be just floating around out there. Being served here isn't the same as being served in the United States. They could drop it with your neighbor and they'll consider that being served. So let's hope he actually got his documents. But I guess he's on notice now. Um, but the um, I think there'll be something. I think the minimal, he may not spend, because they're saying it could be up to four years in jail, according to the documents. So let's say he gets out of all that, then he might not be able to get at least his permanent residency, which will put him on a tourist visa if he's not deported. And if he's on a tourist visa, he might be okay with that. But who knows? Anything could happen. It's the Philippines. Yeah. Um, no. It's not good for the permanent residency. Again, like like uh, Michael Johnson said, for him, using the tourist visa makes sense because um, he doesn't have to. Um, here, you're supposed to, have to give a deposit, 20K, I believe, on a bank account in an SRV, right? Um, on, yes, on the retirement, you got to be. However, if you are um, former military, military it's a thousand or something, it's, or it's it's really inexpensive if you're if you're prior yeah. military. Yeah, if you're a veteran, yes. But all of that requires a background check, that's for sure. Right. So background and... Now, travel trends, somewhat have a point here. I said somewhat because, again, depends on the area and depends on the provider. Mm -hmm. um, Makati is the best place for digital mo nomads because of internet speed. Yes. So you have better inter internet speed in that area because it's more. Um, the infrastructure is better um, as opposed to Bohol. Um, or even here. We're in the city, but it really donks out. Yeah. It's, sometimes it's wonky. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So and we've we, had a lot of power outages here lately. Been several this month when we only usually get one every other month, but it's the heat. Yeah, the it's heat has something to do with 104 it. 104 degrees um, yesterday. Yeah, it's there's really a lot hot. of people using up electric fans and AC units, and they're draining the power. And they're, the grids. Are, the power plants are not enough because we don't have nu nuclear. We have nuclear power plants mm -hmm. here. So we've lost in the past two weeks. It's been down four times. So. And as a matter of fact, either today or tomorrow, I believe it's Negros Occidental. It was announced they'll be down. I think it's tomorrow. It's going to be down for Saturday um, for 12 hours. It might have been today. YouTube News says it's like going to Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills and saying it's normal America. Yeah. Right. That's Makati. Makati is like, you know, it's mm -hmm. like going to Forbes. And nothing wrong with that. Nothing it's... wrong with that. Again, that's your cup of tea. You know, that's fine. Um, yeah, you get to meet the people. It's where the call center people is. It's where some of, I wouldn't say all of it's upper crust because you can go around a couple blocks and be able to meet regular people, but it is it is, it is like that. Yeah. yeah, Michael John says he never served, so he has to put down that deposit. Um, mm -hmm. So it makes sense just to stay on. And there are different ones. Like there are different amounts, but depends like on medical. Like if you have medical issues, then it requires another deposit because they'll do a, a full check. And so it depends. Yeah. No, and the, you have to be here to apply for that. Yeah. The power in Kavita has been stable. It says, um, AJ says you're serving now and make Mike. <laughs> Good feedback on Kavita. Welcome. <laughs> Kavita has come, come a long way. I'll give Gypsy a shine there. Gypsy, I like green tea with sliced ginger root mixed with honey. Huh. I don't know. Every time, I, I we used to put a lot of ginger in the tea, but then I would get heartburn. we get heartburn from it. It's so, still but we put ginger in like teriyaki sauce that we make. still going on, Charles? Yeah, that would be annoying, wouldn't it? The island, I think Water Festival is supposed to go on forever. It's been a week. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that would be annoying. For those of you who are not aware of what that is, it, well, basically all it is is like people just squirt everybody with water. 
So I guess, I mean, it, it, <laughs> yeah, right. It's, it's, I mean, it's fun well, for a day or two, we, but we asked our landlord about, because we've been here almost two years now. We said down the road, we're interested in finding a house further out. We want to get some chickens, let the dogs stretch their legs out with a bigger yard. And that's what she told him is that we were looking for a place to actually for the chickens, but he mentioned that, you know, we've got a basketball court just two or three streets over and the different things that go on. Like there's a market in our neighborhood that happens and it's, it just gets really loud. I, honestly, we got people's chickens running well, up down the street and we're in the city. Well, here's the thing. And I'm going to be honest with you and Heidi's not going to like this. Oh boy. The things that Heidi like, those dislikes I like. You like those chickens running around? Yeah, it's alive. You know, it's. I like the market. I like you know. It's alive. To me, you sleep through everything. So it doesn't matter. It it's there. It's and what I'm saying is. It, yeah, I mean, because people I, are about I, okay. The, it's like being in New York when you can hear everything in Manhattan or you know in certain areas of New York where it's just. And I get there's it. always something going on here. It, right. It's always it's always a lot noisy, but I for me it's a combination because once these games start up constantly, they're almost every day. And you could hear their buzzers and their whistles and the like you can hear the crowd in between. Like and then you got chickens running around, kids running around screaming, and it's like, well, yeah, I mean there's well here's an example, guys. I mean, and, and some of you will appreciate, some of you won't. Okay, every day around Three o'clock ish, four o'clock ish. I open the gate. Why do I open the gate? Because the na local neighborhood dog puppy slash puppy comes over to our house, so he can play with our dogs and eat every day. See? So the I cats. open the gate. They come. He comes in, and then I close the gate, and then you know we feed the dog, we play with him, and around six six thirty ish, I tell the dog, "You need to go home now because they might be looking for you." And I open the gate. And the dog runs out. And this happens every day. Um, except for today. Today, um, it was a busy day. Heidi was asleep. I didn't want to wake up Heidi, so I didn't let the dog in. But point being is... Migraine. Yes. yes. Yeah, Heidi was up. But what I'm saying is, where can you find even that simple transaction with a neighborhood dog? You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is this, to me, this feels like Philippines. There's kids yeah, always playing yeah, around. Yeah. There's always kids playing around, period, every day. And in America, it's like... It, no, you wouldn't see, see one kid on that's the street. What I'm saying. Kids still play at nighttime, when 9, 10 o'clock. When Heidi first moved here in the Philippines, she's like, I hear yeah, kids Mark's, playing. Mark's right. He hopes the dog is fully vaccinated. Yeah, see, that's the problem I have is we don't think that he is. But no, we, our yeah, dogs I know. are. It's, it's one of, I know it's a concern, but it's, it's kind of one of those... Now, what about that, Mark, if our dogs are vaccinated? That should... Yeah make them okay yeah well it's kind of they heartbreaking because I, I really don't think they take good care of the dog otherwise they let them out to forage like literally right. they let them out and then they lock them down at certain times but we set the food here lately i've just been giving it to them on the outside the fence if we set a bull out there the whole bull would just disappear either the, usually it's the kids that'll carry it off in the yeah. neighborhood mark says if your dogs are fully vaccinated we should be fine okay so that that's what i thought i mean i, I would hope that that's what's protecting them so yeah, and we, we let the dogs in today because the weather's been getting 100, 104 with humidity. And so, you know, we make sure we put plenty of water out for the cats and stuff, and the dogs got their water, but we brought them in today. And when it starts to cool down, we let them out. So it's... Yeah, so Chosen One says, don't go to Thailand on April. Well, actually, it's somewhat reversed. A lot of people come to Thailand during this time because they want to have... The water festival but i guess it makes sense eventually the, it, it wears off i guess the novelty wears off yeah i mean getting splashed with water i guess it gets old after yeah. a while. i think we'll wrap this up because we will be back and they're vaccinated for rabies and they've had um it's a four and one they've got a four and one and five and one here so it's they about, actually go around and do the free rabies yeah. but we had the other yeah um, they do every, every year they do a free rabies shot um but if you're going to pay for it, it runs about 900 a 1000 Yeah, it's under $20. Mm -hmm. 
but it's not like the the U.S. We used to like get the stuff through the farm stores and stuff, and I used to vaccinate. But here, I couldn't find any farm stores, so we just had to have. There's a vet that comes over here, Mark. It's really cool. That's how we had one of the last cat fix, um, and then the other one we actually took in. So we just had the mail. So thank God everybody's done right now. Yeah. Now they do have again an annual rabies shot thing, and and I've had I've gone there. Um, two times. I haven't gone there this year, though. Interesting. Yeah, Darren. Yeah. After the regular guy, who who will the holier than now saviors go after next? Oh, I probably see. Probably whoever's you. popular. <laughs> so I mean, that could be a reference to us or the rest of them, or but like I said, most of that we cover is something different. So, but hey, again, it'll um, be here exactly in 12 hours. We'll be live again. Yeah, so for the U.S., us it'll be tonight. What are you guys on a 13 hour difference? So it'll probably be eight o'clock at night for the U.S. Yeah. For the Philippines, it'll be 9 a.m., but that'll be Saturday. Yeah, and we will spill the beans be on Drama Getty. Yeah, they'll just be, we'll just be covering what happened in the week and everything. So just a reiteration of the regular guy talk. I'm sure that'll be the most popular one tomorrow. We just ask that when, which is to me a little hard to actually, um, I think we just say that people should always use their own judgment, not by, you know, watch everything, understand, you know, make your reports and do everything that you guys, you know, actually feel. But look at the whole situation. I mean, I would look at the entire situation for sure. And that's for anything, whether yeah. it's dating advice, whether it's us telling you things about Mark Thornton, or and then you're hearing five other stories on other yeah, channels. Yeah, Charlie, you, you came in late. We already showed the documents and we were talking about it. But we'll probably talk about it later for the, yeah, on the next slide. Just, yeah, we'll be bringing it up tomorrow. It was we had it at the very beginning. If you want to, this video will stay published, so you'll be able to see that it's there. And we discussed what was in there. So basically, he should have been served, and his YouTube channel stuff has been saved. In the Philippines, has his full confession. It could be up to four years, two months, and it was really an odd sentence that they're searching for. And I doubt he gets that, but it'll definitely affect any future immigration for him. So up to possibly deportation. So because it means he might have a record at that point. So he's not, you know, been found guilty. It's just the charges being brought. So yeah. And again, we he, must say that. And again, he's on a tourist visa. And, and yes, that that is significant because it's a tourist versus a permanent resident. And they said that they're actually even if he was permanent, he said he's he's working on his 13A. So that was his own word in the recent live stream. So and that just kind of puts him in a real odd position with the new baby and Yep. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you later today. Yep, it'll be here in a little bit. Thank you for all of our members. This is that the part where in. I get up and show my underwear. You better not. Nope, nobody wants to see your underwears. It says on top, party on the bottom. I don't think anybody caught on to you guys. All right, guys, <laughs> all right, see you guys. in a little bit, about Thank 12 you so much. hours. Appreciate you so much. Good evening, good morning. Right, love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye.